What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was a random matchup with Red Onslaught. Yes, Red Onslaught. These guys are bosses. Uh, very, very, very good uh, fair play war clan. Uh, and they showed us what's up. Uh, 87 to 81 for Red Onslaught. They just dominated 96%, uh, 97% almost total destruction. Um, you know, this Assy uh, guy is a very good attacker. Obviously, they got Big Stewie there. Um, you know, see what they did to our bases, right? You know, Big Stewie uh, tripled ice, and Assy had a six-star war against me and Ride Round there. Um, now, uh, I screwed up, and I had single-target Infernos for some stupid reason. Uh, <laughs> just shows my... Uh, newness to building uh base building at town hall 10 uh huge mistake you only make once uh and ride around mentioned it to me like five minutes after the war started and i'm like man where were you 10 minutes ago i could have changed it but uh i'm pretty confident in saying assy still would have had my number even if my infernos were set to multi so uh fantastic job red right onslaught you guys are bosses now they did have a slight advantage because we didn't even have an 11 they had one 11 and seven, yeah, because that's a, yeah, so 111 and seven tens versus six tens uh, with no 11. So tough, tough one for us, tough matchup. Uh, I think we did our best though, right? I mean, we did miss the two on Big Stewie and we did miss two on Janik there. However, cleared the board all the way down otherwise. So I don't know what else, uh, you know, you can ask for. The boys uh, really stepped up and did their best against some of these really good bases. Um, I had some really nice attacks in here to show you as well. Um, would have been nice, like I said, to get the twos on these, but even then would have been a five-star difference as is. So, um, you know, on top of them getting some really nice TH10 triples, they also had that advantage. So it was really a lost cause for us. Uh, we did our best though and kept our heads high and uh, you know, cleared that board. So, Gratz and Victa, fantastic job, gentlemen. We're going to start down here with a few of these replays. Yas brings a crazy attack here. I thought this was in just an awesome, awesome, awesome attack. Um, so, it goes ahead and gets the swap here for that Arch Tower. Uh, the reason he does this is because he's going to drop a few minions in behind and get a bunch of free buildings to create this funnel. Now, uh, keep in mind, he's got five healers. 20 balloons, a lava hound in that CC. So he does not bring a golem here. Just a very, very, very creative attack. Um, very Town Hall 10 esque attack. Recognizes this. Uh, this air defense and this air defense are both uh, targetable by this little bit of a walk he's doing. That's why I created this large, large funnel there. Um, Goes ahead and gets this air defense. I think he steps up, takes that cannon, and then starts to walk around this way. Gets that air defense. He's got the double zap quake. To take care of the other two air defense, <laughs> that brings 20 balloons. Now watch this. This is the part I was impressed at with this raid. Suicides his level 22 king. And keep in mind that's a level, I think, 28 queen there. So there go the zap quakes, right? Bam, 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 bam. Just needs to make sure that queen goes up and gets that air defense. is good. Boom. Here goes, here goes his king. Level 22 king, right? Sends in the breakers, knows the can is not going to be able to take him down in time. Opens up the wall, suicides the king in at this queen, rages it up, down goes the defensive queen, see you later, his job is done, queen is down, the queen walk is now taking down that last remaining air defense, here comes the lava hound, he doesn't even know what to tank, he's like, whoa, there's no air defenses for me to go to, I'm just going to park on this wizard tower here, a few balloons in, kind of sprinkling in, all from the outside, recognize that golem in the CC ain't going to do crap, queen walk is still just going to continue along and help things out. Everything looking good. This core quad, uh, quad Tesla is the only thing of concern. So drops the remainder of balloons here. Does not have any spells for them. Keep in mind because he used the double zap quake, but it's no big deal. Bam. Hound is now going in, going to get hit by that uh, the bomb. And then Believe gets taken out here just in time before the Teslas go down and get those pups created for the cleanup because it is already cleanup time. Freaking nice attack. Yes, I was really, really impressed by this one. Love the Suicide King. Love the fact he only brought the one Lava Hound. Um, and he did exactly his job, like the perfect burst. So Tree Star is in the bag for Yas. Very sexy attack, my friend. Oh, thank you, Team Unique. <clears throat> I got opted out of this uh, this in current Invicta War, so a little, little bummed out. But I always got to take a seat as a first volunteer to make room for the Invicta guys if there's not the right numbers. So is what it is and good luck my friends it looks like it's going fairly well so far hmm. too much coffee today so 
Dirty South uh, DSK here. Uh, is going to do a nice little queen charge in, brings another Zapquake. Look at the seven dragons he's got. Um, gets an insane value out of this queen charge. He recognizes if he can get his queen into this king compartment, that means one, two, and three air defense are all targetable. Uh, so things are looking good, right? Creates that funnel, pushes the queen down to this compartment. He's going to open up this compartment as soon as that arch tower locks on. Yep, there she goes. And in goes some wall breakers now. Any second now. One, two, three, four. Let's go. <laughs> there we are. Wall breaker one in is successful. Wall breaker two and three are in and open it up. First air defense is down. Obviously, the Zapquake went down, so there's only two air defenses remaining at this point. Got to rage it up here for the uh, king. I really like the rage placement here. I don't know if this was intentional, but see how it sticks out from that wall? So she takes down the queen and then walks around and still stands right in here. Takes down that mortar, locked onto those skeletons, and then is able to take down the Lava Hound still standing under the rage, like right on the edge of that rage. So it's very, very good, good rage placement on that. Uh, so she's going to get delayed here a little bit. King kind of goes in to help just do some tanking and clean up and, and um, start moving stuff out from uh, around the sides here. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, Lava Hound's about to burst. Pop, see you later. As soon as she takes care of these pops, she's going to step up and finish off what she started here. Needs to get both of those air defenses to clear the way for these seven dragons. King ends up going down here, but no big deal. He did a lot of tanking, allowing this queen time to just work into this compartment. So there goes that first air defense. See ya. Pop, last pop is down. Finishing off this stuff. He just goes ahead and commences the dragons. He knows, he knows he's uh, running out of time here. So he's got to start this part of his attack. Really knows the queen eventually is going to get to this air defense. Unfortunately, she locks on to the clan castle first. So kind of gets it just in time as you're going to see here. Um, but everything's moving in this queen chamber. Drags are looking fantastic. He's got one more rage. I believe he's going to drop right over here. Push all of these dragons in through the base. Hits the ability on the queen. Gets that air defense. Her job is done. Really wants to take a few of these point defenses down with her, but locks onto that wall. Her job's done anyways. Oh, keeps her alive. How did I not see that? I thought I used the rage on the dragons the first time. <laughs> keeps the queen alive. That is just awesome. She's going to step up under that rage now, finish off those point defenses. Wizard's in there helping her out. Dragon's in the base, just kind of ripping things apart. Keep in mind, he has that lava hound there. Um, I think it was a precautionary Lava Hound in case the Queen didn't get all these air defenses, uh, which isn't a bad idea, right? I mean, your options are either to take a, a Drag and Loon in your CC or just a Lava Hound just in case. He already had the seven Drags, so that Lava Hound doing some tanking uh, is really helping out. Unfortunately, it does not burst in time, uh, but like I said, I think it was more of a precautionary Lava Hound because um, that was quite the stretch of stuff. And that was just awesome, DSK, that rage, just in time to keep your queen up. That never happens with my queen. If I did that, she'd be toast for sure. <laughs> but beautiful attack. Tree stars in the bag. Like this one. Zap Quake just all over the place. Very good read. Um, all right. Good old McGravy bringing us a standard stone goho. You don't see these too many anymore. I literally have to filter through the gobohos. Um <laughs> in every war now because I'd say 80 plus percent of the Town Hall 9 hits are all Gobohos. It's very, very, very uh, strong, strong strat for Town Hall 9 at this point, especially against uh, anti-three-star bases. Uh, but McGrady says, you know what? I'm going to go old school on this one. I'm just going to earthquake this core. I'm going to send in three golems. I'm going to open up this wall. I'm going to drop my king, drop my queen, everything in behind. These three golems are going to give me huge push into this section of the base. It's going to allow my king to get there, my queen to get there. We're going to get that defensive queen, and I'm just going to hog the rest of it. So rage goes down. Queen just barely standing in. She's going to walk right in, start ripping this stuff up. Tesla farm's going to go down. That third golem's getting right in there. He does get some damage on his king. Um which kind of sucks. Uh, maybe delay that king a little bit more there, Gravy. Uh, but other than that, uh, look at those golems in there just doing tons of tanking. Those hogs are basically getting free defenses. Uh, fortunately, the expo did target them and loses a couple of the spring traps, but no big deal. Heal goes down over this section. Allow those hogs to jump in and take out that DGB. Sends the rest of them in around the 6 o'clock spot here. Take out another bomb. Gets another heal down over this core here to heal those hogs right back up just in time. There it is. Hogs are getting healed right back up to full. Expo is going to go down. All he has left to worry about is the defensive queen, which, yes, is still not dead. But this queen is about to step up once the defensive king goes down. So he busts 
up the ability. Two shots on that defense of Queen. She is toast. Those hogs are in there. Going to finish off those defenses. Even has one more lone hog to send in from that point. Gravy just smoked this base with a stone go. Oh, I liked it. Like the old school attacks. You guys know that. That's <laughs> just enough hogs. Two hogs left, right? So uh, sometimes when that happens, you're worried you don't have enough cleanup. But really, uh, sometimes you don't need it. <laughs> when your queen's still in there doing cleanup, you've got a couple wizards on the bottom. So just a beautiful attack there, Gravy. It's tree stars in the bag. Beauty. Uh, 13. Derp -ba -doo. So I wanted to show this attack. Because um, this queen walk does not go how Derp wanted it to. He wanted to charge into this large, large compartment so his queen kind of had free reign at all of this stuff here. Um, it doesn't happen. <laughs> she goes for a hike, but Derp just does a great job at, you know, I've, I've said this in other, uh, every now and then I'll show an attack where I know for a fact it did not go to plan. But the person just kept their composure, made some readjustments on the fly, and still came away with the three star. And that's what Derp does here. So, uh, like the easy lure for the uh, CC there, just nice and easy. One giant lure, may as well take it, get that Pekka yanked out, and almost dead. So, he knows that queen is going to take one shot of that Pekka, and he is going down. Um, so, even if he gets a swipe off at the queen, which he actually does, uh, it doesn't matter because she's going to take him down and get healed right back up to full. So, here we go. So, there go the wall breakers. Everything's looking good. Funnel's created. This Builder's Hut is the problem because she takes out this Sweeper first and then the Builder's Hut yanks her over to the side just slightly, just slightly, but that's enough to lock her onto this gold mine and it's over from here, right? He created that funnel. It just wasn't quite enough. Like in my, I did a cleanup video just recently where I left the lab on the outside and just that one step in that direction really screws your queen. This can happen to anybody, right? Um, even with all the planning in the world, it can really, really uh, hurt things. Tries to readjust and open up the wall here. <laughs> Does not enough. The mortar takes out one of the wall breakers. <laughs> so goes ahead and sends in the hogs. Look at these two hogs. Look at the work these two hogs do. Now, it sucks because he does lose the healers. Um, and you can really tell he's like kind of not panicking, but trying to make the readjustments needed. But those hogs took out those two defenses. They're going to get this wizard tower. And then watch this. Two hogs. Boom. DGB. See you later. So... Once he sees that, he's like, you know what? This is looking good. Let's just go in, make sure that defensive queen goes down. We do have one more double giant bomb set to worry about, and only 15 hogs, so that's a bit of concern. Uh, but uh, this queen is closing her walk off now, right? Like, there's not point defense on the outside here for her to worry about. So she's going to be A-OK -okay and just continue to walk. Right where he's about to send in this kill squad. This was totally unintentional, but closes off this queen walk now. Going to jump on into here and jump on into there. Send in a golem. Uh, there it is. Golem going in at that queen. King goes in, going to lock right onto that defensive queen. Smack, smack, smack. This queen's going to now jump in with these wizards, start taking all this stuff out. Still has the 15 hogs. So really, really good on-the-fly adjustments here, Derp. Just very, very, very sexy job. Um, now, everything's going to move in. He's got one more jump. Boom. See you later. I might have adjusted it up to get into those Teslas because obviously that quad Tesla is a bit of an issue. Um but whatever, uh, no big deal. Queen is there. Like I had mentioned, she's going to start taking down that stuff with those wizards in no time. Rage goes down even, which was just beautiful, I thought. Hogs are all in under the heel. There is a bomb there, but they're all healed up. No big deal. Queen's in there under the rage. Two-shotting those Teslas like nothing. One, two, three, four. There's barely anything left of this base. Solid, solid readjustments there. Remember those two hogs he sent with that uh, when the queen started going the way he did it? Those hogs would have died if uh, he didn't do that. So, tree stars in the bag. Job, Dirt. Great readjustments. Uh, all right. So, I had, I think, one more to show you. I'm going to show you this THN triple by my buddy Mark. Um, you know, so very Town Hall 9 defense base. Uh, so, very new. Uh, this boat where JPW is in Invicta. Um, you know, level one infernos, all town hall nine defenses. Uh, still not an easy feat to do by any means. You know, Mark does not have max heroes, uh, but really just demolishes this base. You're going to notice he's got two P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, so this is one of those attacks. I see this all the time. You're kind of just ensuring the safe two star. 
but with the kind of prayer of a three star on the back end with those 12 hogs, uh, realizes if you can get everything into this core here with that jump and everything, take out a huge, big chunk of this base and get that Inferno Tower down, he's got a good shot now uh, at cleaning up all this outer defense stuff with these 12 hogs as long as he uses that heal properly. So here come these first two hogs. Uh, I like that read while the uh, Teslas are on that goal mic. Gets that Tesla drop down. Uh, does end up losing the cannon, but here come the hogs all up there. Giant does a little tanking. Stuff is still in this core doing work there, right? Um, Queen is still down here doing work as well. The Inferno Tower is going to be posing a bit of a problem, but the Peck is about to walk over, start taking swipes at it. Only needs one more swipe before that goes down. His hogs do basically go down, but the Tesla dies with a few hogs remaining. So it's just enough to push through the reigning defenses here. His Queen's in there doing mop up. Very, very, very good job. Uh, this is one of those two-star hits with a hope and a prayer of a three-star in the end. And the hope and a prayer was answered because just perfect timing on everything. Queen gets stuck on the wall here because nothing's in range, unfortunately. But the golem steps up just in time to allow her to work through that wall, finish off this last compartment. He's got cleanup stuff all on the other side of the base. Looking good. Beautiful job, Mark. Very, very clutch three-star. We really needed that one. But these are going to start coming. Like more often, these these newer newer Town Hall 10s are going to get tripled by our guys on a regular basis. It's only a matter of time. It's a little more practice, uh, and we're going to be doing what Mark did. So three stars in the bag, my friend. Very good job. So tough war, guys, but I think we uh, we held our own for the most part. Um, a six-star war when they have a you know a Town Hall 11 advantage, one to nothing, and then still have an extra Town Hall 10. Uh, compared to R6 to begin with, I mean, that's that right there is two Town Hall 11 attacks and two extra Town Hall 10 attacks. So that is that is difficult to compete with, especially when you're up against a very, very uh, difficult, uh, well-organized clan like Red Onslaught. Uh, those guys really know what they're doing over there. Uh, just monsters. So uh, good job overall, Invicta. Like I said, I think we held our own for the most part. Like seeing that clear board down there. Obviously, uh, you know, there wasn't a heck of a lot else we could do other than maybe bagging a couple more TH10 triples, but it is what it is. Uh, not the easiest thing to do against a, a clan like RO. So uh, that'll that'll about do it here, guys. I got a couple more videos to do today, doing a video with DWS, uh, promoting One Hive Venom. Really pumped about that, uh, along with some other things. So uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.